Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can evaluate definite integrals using Scilab. So, in order to ev evaluate a definite integral, we will be using a function um, that is an inbuilt function in Scilab and it is INTG and it takes up three arguments that is the initial limit let's say it's ba then the final limit b and the function which you need to integrate so this is the function that we'll be using to evaluate any definite integral so let's say i want to evaluate the integral of x from 0 to 1 so in order to do that what i need to do is i need to define a function um, sorry I need to define a function and let's say I call it f itself and it's a function of x and a is equal to x so this is my function mm, I guess it's together okay so so now what I want to do is what I want to evaluate the integral of x from some initial limit to some final limit let me just change this variable name right here to something else cause I am already using a as the initial limit so let's say I want to evaluate the integral from 0 to 5 now the integration of x is x squared by 2 and if I use the final limit 5 then it comes at about 25 by 2 so the answer should be 12.5 so let me just um, store this result in some variable and display that okay so just save and execute the program and I get the answer 12.5 and what you can even do is you can um, make the user enter the you know initial limits so just ask the user to enter the initial limits every time the program is run and that would be better so just final so when the program is run now it will ask the user to enter the initial limit let's say I want to integrate x from 2 to 3 now I get the answer 2.5 now let's see if it is correct because um, so if we do it manually then we get 3 squared by 2 that is 4.5 then 2 squared by 2 that is 2 so 4.5 minus 2 gets 2.5 so it's working so that's how you evaluate a definite integral in Scilab and that's it thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any other query, just leave it in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to help you out.